Can you kind of walk us through the, the, the process for you the last couple of years, having to deal with some injuries and seeing out for other reasons that have kind of gotten you to where you are now, where it appears that you're going to be one of the starters out there at that hybrid uh, linebacker position? Well, coming in, I knew uh, I had two sh ongoing shoulder in injuries. So uh, after my red shirt freshman season, I got surgery on the first one. And then after my sophomore season, I got uh, surgery on the second one. And then in the middle of that summer, I think, my sophomore summer, I ended up pulling my hamstring and ended up tearing, I guess. And uh, throughout that process, I guess it just made me stronger. Uh, just learned, taught me how to overcome adversity. So it just built me as uh, a better player, better person, you know, lead me up to now. Mac has brought, mentioned your name a couple of times in the last couple of weeks about one of the guys that's really standing out and he's been very impressed with. How satisfying is it for you to be in your, in your last season, you're kind of in the position where you are right now, your coach is praising you, and it looks like you have an opportunity to contribute an awful lot this year. Uh, you know, it, it's great uh, hearing from a coach uh, like Mac Brown uh, raving about me, but, you know, there's, almost, there's always more work to put in. So, you know, I'm just coming out here uh, every day, continue to uh, work harder and harder because I know I have competition right behind me that could easily just take my spot like that. So I come out here just trying to prove myself every day, pushing myself. Cool. cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, we're going to move over to Greg Barnes. Ty, just curious, has your position changed at all from last year? I mean, are you playing with your hand in the dirt anymore? Uh, I'm not, I haven't played with my hand in the dirt uh, for a couple years now uh, since the new defense. Um, my position's changed a little bit since the, uh, since the uh, old defensive style. Uh, we don't put our hand in the dirt anymore. I'm really like a hybrid linebacker, but right now I'm moving all over the place. Sometimes you'll see me at, uh, you'll see me at the end position in the four. Sometimes you'll see me out wide covering the two, and sometimes you'll see me uh, just right on the edge as a defensive end type, uh, type player. But, Never with my hand in the dirt. What's what's kind of been the the key for the defense this off season? Um, trying to kind of stick together and in, in, in an approach because you did lose some some veteran guys like every team does, uh, but with Aaron and, and Miles in the back there, what, what's been the process and who has stepped up as as leaders for this team? You know, the uh, I, I feel like we had some young guys that came in and uh, stepped up like Jaleel Taylor. He started coming uh, coming along very well. Uh, at the end. So he stepped up in that role, like the Aaron Crawford role, and uh, taking over that position. And then we have uh, Ray Pahasik, who's doing an amazing job, you know. Uh, he's making plays left and right, left and right. And yeah, just just guys like guys like that, you know. Um, Miles Murphy, he's coming, he's coming along, a new freshman. Uh, he's doing great pass rush, run block, everything. So, you know, it's just the young guys stepping up and uh, taking on those roles that, you know, that we, that we lost. We know a lot about Tamon Fox. Who are some other guys in your position that have impressed you thus far? Uh, I would have to say, uh, I would have to say everybody's impressed me. Cameron Rucker, uh, Desmond Evans, uh, Cameron Rucker, Desmond Evans, and uh, Chris Collins. You know, they all, we've, we've all stepped up this offseason, uh, come, just, just trying to get better every day, you know, coming out, working on uh, pass rush, run blocks, you know. Des, Desmond Evans, uh, he, he's, coming, he's coming in at a good size. He's 6'6, six, 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 240. So, you know, he, like, he's going to be there uh, uh, one of these days, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Cameron Rucker, he's six foot 260 right now. So he's, he's coming along very well. You know, they both have the body, top, body types to uh, step up uh, next year and this year. Great. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Ross Martin, you're up next. Yeah, I mean, Andrew got into some of your, like, position changes. changes. You, you, arrived as a, you arrived as a linebacker, and you played some defensive end, and now you're – kind of a hybrid. Do you like that role and what do you like about it? And, and what do you like about what you're doing now in this kind of uh, versatile role? Uh, I, I love this role. It just, uh, like you said, allows me to be versatile, you know, and one of my main goals is to get to the league, uh, league next year. So, you know, this just shows uh, the next level that I can do a little bit of everything. So, you know, I, I work on everything from playing in the inside to, uh, to dropping on the, uh, dropping on the two receiver. So, you know, I love this role. Coach Bateman has done a great job. Uh, Coach uh, DeWitt has done a great job in shaping me to play, uh, play the position I am now. Is it challenging for guys like you and Tamon Fox to drop into coverage, or is that something you had to get adjusted to? Or, or how does that work when you're used to lying up and rushing the passer and then you have to drop and cover 
you know, pass catcher or running back? I mean, I think we've, uh, I think we're we're pretty decent at it. You know, there's always uh, more room to improve. But coming in, you know, I well, I, w- I was a linebacker, so I always did things like that, like drop uh, dropping on a two receiver. You know, covering a running back out the backfield. You know, we and then uh, we just continuously continuously work on it. You know, over the summer, me me Chad and Tamar will come out here to the uh, to the field and just work every day, uh, working on pass rush, uh, pass rush, and uh, dropping certain things like that. So you know, it just it just allowed us. Uh, to be uh, better at that.